Okay, so today's video is going to be on manicure or, you know, just, you know, taking care of your cuticles, however you want to do it or whatever, however you want to call it. Now, um, you could see that my cuticles and my hands are well manicured. So if you would like to see how it's done, then stay tuned. Okay, so this is basically everything I used um, right in here. Um, what I used was a cuticle remover softener and remover and a little cup right there just to pour it in uh, my top coat there is from Sally's it's called Beauty Secrets and the polish I use is also from Sally's it's from Finger Paints and it's called Who Are You and for you know like my lotion on the hands I use Vaseline Cocoa Conditioning conditioning Jelly and then for the top coat I also use Finger Paints right here then you'll need like some cotton and some cuticle push sticks right there and I also use an emery board, as you can see here, this is a 100 and 180 grit, right there. And then I used a buffing block, and let's see. And then I used a little, because um, you want to soak, your, you always want to soak your hands before you start just to soften the cuticle. I use this like little um, bowl that I have meant for um, like manicuring. And then for the soap, because you want to um, soften the cuticle and have the hands clean, I just used Dawn Hand Renewal. Um, with Olay Beauty. It's dish soap, but it's it's safe for the hands. So if you want to see how um, it's done, then let's get started. Okay, so this is what I'll be using to file the edges. Now this is Beauty Secrets. I got this at Sally's for 79 cents. Now this is called the, let me see, the banana file. So it's a hundred and hundred and eighty grit. And if you have files and you have no idea what they mean, um, the hundred grit is going to be the coarser side, which is this side. If you could see um, how shiny this is. This is great for acrylics. Okay, and this is great for free edging also. And then this is the 100, this side right here, it's a little bit um, a little bit softer. This is 180 grit. This is also good for the natural nail and free edging. So um, if you were like trying to eliminate shine from your nail, you wouldn't want to use the 100 grit. This will definitely um, damage your nail bed and scratch it. This is only great for like blending the acrylics and the free edge. So the 100 and 180 grit is fine just to file um, your, the, you know, your free edge of your nail. Okay, and then I have this, um, this buffer here. This one is called Star Nail International Softy Yellow Sanding Block. And this is 220 grit, which means the higher the number of the grit, the um, finer it is. So this is great for the top, buffing it and eliminating the shine. And since my nail here is stained with... I don't know with the wet. This is great to buff it out. Okay, so I'm going to use the hundred, the hundred grit, which is the rougher side. And then what you want to do is just kind of you know start from the edge to the center, just like so. You don't want to dig in like that, or you will um, definitely damage your your nail bed right here on the side and your cuticle, and then you will have skin pulling back. So all you want to do is just do this, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then just one direction. Just kind of even it out. So now that that's done, you can use your um, buffing block like so, and then just kind of eliminate some shine. Now the stain that I have here, let's see if I can, can you see that? Okay, perfect. This will definitely take out that stain without being so rough just like so see there we go the polish remover didn't take that out so if you have stains like that um then it'll definitely take it out see so just like that that's done you want to we want to soften um the cuticle so what i'm going to do is soak my hands now it's up to you how you want to do it you can put it in a bowl with soap but i'm just going to use what i have here um you want to put a little bit of soap in there. You want to fill it up with warm water if I can. So then what we would do is just, the hand that we just worked on, you just, this has a little, like a palm holder this, so then you just stick your hands in there. And then, yeah, you just let it soak for about um, three to five minutes. Okay, so then what we're going to do next is apply a cuticle softener and remover. I got this at Sally's. Um, for about $2.59 and then what you want to do is just put a little bit like in a container I already have some in here and a little glass. You don't need that much. just a little bit Then what I did was I grabbed a manicure tool um, Just like this they actually 
Um, but what I'm going to do is just show you how I um, apply a little bit of cotton. Then you just want to gently dip it in the cuticle cream. And then just apply it on the nail. Let me see if I can focus. Okay, there we go. Then you just want to soften right on the nail, all around the cuticle. And when you're done doing that, you can just throw this away. And see, this is what it looks like. Just like that. So then we could push the cuticle back with... Um, this flat part right here okay so then what we want to do is gently start in circular motion just kind of like getting all of that cuticle out of there push it back gently see can you see all that stuff gotta be real gentle because you will hurt your nail see all that stuff gross right so then just you know if you have like a little con or something just clean it. See, that's gross. You don't even realize that you have that and it's just like dirt or polish that gets under there. So you just want to carefully just clean it back. Okay, now at this point you could like if you were doing like a manicure on, on the client or on somebody else, you want to give them like a hand massage and apply some cream. I'm just going to use, um, this is um, Vaseline Cocoa Butter. And then what I'm going to do is the same thing. I just put a little cotton on a new um, cuticle stick. And then, well, this is mine, but if you obviously had, you know, to do it on somebody else, you would probably, like, put it in something. But you only need a little bit. I'm only going to use a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. What you want to do is just go ahead and then just, well, I'm going to just, oops, just apply it a little bit around the nail. Um, but if you were, like, um, if you had a client or whatever, you want to massage their whole hand or whatever. So we'll just do that, and then I'm just going to rub it in apply like a base coat then what I'm gonna do is and what you should do too is even after you apply lotion just get polish remover and just um, run it over the nails to take away all this um, oily um, I also want to mention that um, before I applied the lotion that I cleaned under the free edge this is the free edge right here the white party nail I just use the orange stick with um, you can use like polish remover or like nail bleach was which is like hydro hydrogen peroxide and then you can just clean under here and you will see all the dirt that comes out from underneath so okay I already did that now if you are into like um, having strong nails you can use a hardener um, base coat this one is from Ramo and it's a strength it strengths and hardens and it's a base coat so you can use something like this um, but what I'm going to use as my base coat, I got this from Sally's, and it is Beauty Secrets Base Coat, and this cost me $2.99. So then what you want to do, and the best way to apply um, the base coat, is really thin. Now if you're wondering why you need a base coat, um, it protects, it will protect your nails. Um, see, look how shiny my, cu my cuticles are now. See, they're nice and clean, and I've already applied the polish remover on the top of the nail. So what this does, it's going to protect the nail from your polish or whatever. This one actually um, is enriched with proteins and vitamin. So I'm just going to show you really quick how you should do it. It should just be straight down the center and off to the sides, just like that. See? I am going to apply this really pretty color. It's a great color for fall. It's from Finger Paints. And it's, um, I don't know if it's like a, I'm not really sure. It's like greenish, brownish. Well, if it was in the hair color, hair color level system, it would be like an ash brown. And in the same motion, um, down the center and out to the sides. So you always want it to be thin. Okay. Okay, and then now we're ready for the um, second coat. Remember not to do it so thick. All you want to do is just perfect the color, same technique, down the center and out to the sides. Just like so. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and apply your top coat. I'm just going to go ahead and use um, my finger paint. So go ahead and then go ahead and apply the top coat. And then um, we'll see how everything looks. When okay, so that's the end of the manicure. Um, that's it. They look well polished. The cuticles look nice and smooth. Um, and your nails look refreshed. So, I mean, this is a way to do it if you want to have some really nice um, hands, nails. Maybe when So... Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.